Hi, this is John with Transoms Direct. Today we'll discuss how to install a transom window like this one over a double door for a completed installation like you see behind me now. Let's get started. Doors are always installed into rough openings. Rough openings have exposed studs with unfinished drywall edges along the perimeter of the opening. For the example behind me, we had new construction, so we purpose-built a rough opening to fit the double door and transom size we wanted. But if you're doing a renovation and have an existing door or a legacy rough opening, the planning section of our website will provide step-by-step -step instructional videos tailored to find the measurements for your project. To place a transom above a double door, we begin by ordering a transom sash that is the same width as the distance between the two side jams of the double door unit. To find this width, go to the non-swinging side of the door and measure from one jam to the other, being careful not to include the door stop as part of the measurement. Don't be tempted to use the nominal width of the door that you find on a website or print it on a label stuck to the door. Here we have a 60 inch wide transom sash that matches the double hung French door behind me that also measured 60 inches from jam to jam. A normal building practice is to frame your rough opening for your door two inches wider than this same jam to jam measurement. So using our 60 inch measurement, we framed our rough opening two inches wider or 62 inches wide. The height of your opening depends on the height of the transom sash you order. For this installation, we chose to install a 12 inch tall transom sash, which is pretty standard for the nine foot ceiling in this room. To figure the height added to the rough opening for the transom, add two inches, just like we added for the width. For a 12 inch transom like this one, we raise the height of our opening two inches more or 14 inches above the top of the door jam. If you need help setting the height of your door or if you already have a space above a previously installed door, the planning section will walk you through the measurements you need. As you can see, this thinner transom sash will need to be placed into a jam to match the thicker wall above our door. Order or build your jam to match the thickness of your wall or just measure your door's jam depth. Once the transom sash is set in a jam, we refer to it as a transom unit. When your transom unit arrives from the factory, place it into the opening directly over the top of the door jam. Be sure that the jam bases of the door and transom are flush and that the side jams are in alignment. Then you can secure the transom unit to the doors with a few nails. At this point, the transom is installed and you're ready to add casing to the door. After casing, the last step is to cover the seam between the transom and the door. We recommend a piece of one and one eighth inch mullion. Cut the mullion to match the distance between the casing legs and nail it in place. That's it. You've installed a transom over a double hung door. Thanks for watching. So, placing a transom over a double door is easy. They're beautiful for home offices, dining rooms, and living areas. To see another way transoms can be included in your project, click the top video to install a transom over an opening, like in a kitchen or a hallway. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, check out the longer discussion version of this video in the links below. Thanks for watching.